Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these simultaneous non-linear equations by substitution method. Let's look at these both equations. And we know that the first equation, x squared plus y squared equal to 2, represents a circle, while the second equation, y minus x squared equal to 0, is a parabola. And here is their graph. As you can see, that the circle is in a red, while the parabola is in a blue. And we can see that both these graphs, they intersect at two points. The first one is, the one where I'm gonna circle this one, is negative one. One is one of their intersection point, so that's gonna be one of their solutions. So the second one is one comma one is another solution. And now I am going to show you how to solve the simultaneous equation by algebraic method. So now in our next step, let's look at the very first equation, x squared plus y squared equal to 2. I am going to call this equation number 1. And as far as the second equation is concerned, I am going to tweak it a little bit. I can write it as x squared equals to y. All right, and I'm going to call this as an equation number two. And now in our next step, I said substitute x squared equal to y in this equation number one, which is x squared plus y squared equals to two. Let's go ahead and substitute that one. So wherever we see x squared, I am going to replace it by y, so this is going to become y plus y square equal to 2. If I bring this 2 on the left hand side, so we are going to have y square plus y minus 2 equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation and that can easily be factored out. So let's see what are the possible factors going to be. So let's put down two parentheses equal to zero. The first one is going to be y minus one. The next one is going to be y plus two. Since these two factors are equal to zero, I can separate them. I can write them independently. y minus one equal to zero while y plus 2 equal to 0. That means that y equals to 1 is 1 of our y value, and the other one is going to be y equals to negative 2. So we got two y values. And since we are running out of space on the left hand side, I wrote down y equals to 1 and y equals to negative 2 on the right hand side. And we are going to do back substitution. So wherever we're going to see x square equal to y, we are going to substitute these y values. For this first value, y equals to 1, this x square is going to be equal to we are going to replace y by 1, so we got x squared equal to 1, and we want to solve for x, we are going to undo this square by taking the square root, so this is going to give us, this cancels out the square and square root, x is going to be positive or negative negative one value. And now let's go ahead and substitute y equals to negative two value. So x square equals to negative two. And once again, we're going to take the square root. We want to undo this square. So we take the square root on both sides. So this square and square root, they undo each other. So x turns out to be equal to positive or negative i times square root of 
true where this i is called an imaginary number and i is always equal to square root of negative one and we know that this is a complex number so that means it is not a real number that's the reason why we are not going to consider it so thus our only real solution is going to be this part the first part that is going to be x is positive or negative one comma y value is one once again this is a x value and this is y value so thus our solution set is going to be one comma one one order pair and the other one is going to be negative one comma one when we separate these x values all right and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye